need my allowance. But it'll take forever if I have to shovel it all. Oh, can anything work in this cook gold? Thanks for the warm invitation, Gloria. But I promised I'd go skiing with Scott this week. Forget it. Something weird's going on here. Yesterday, everything was perfect. But today, man, it's like vacationing in Saudi Arabia. What's happening? Could you be a little more specific? Everything's dried up and covered with sand. This is Saudi Arabia? I thought Gloria was in El Capoco. No wonder she's upset. She's on the, the, the wrong vacation. Sounds like some weird ecological disaster. Hang on to the photos, Gloria. I'll contact you from the transport later. Dad, you're going to check it out, aren't you? I think so. <laughs> Please let us come. I'll do anything for some heat. I guess a desert is no real date. Yay! You get your chores finished, and you can come along. Computer, priority one emergency. Select the best mask agents for this mission. Recommended personnel, Jacques Leffler, vehicle code name, the volcano van. Specialist in natural disaster. Strike Command. I've always imagined Acapulco as a sort of vacationer's Eden. It does seem very strange. There is no natural reason why it should suddenly start drying up. Unless maybe nature is getting some unnatural help. It's time Mask got going.
Welcome to paradise. At least it was yesterday. It's gotten worse here since this morning. Oh, yeah. You were in the snowstorm this morning. I think you should see the photos. Extremely rapid drawing of the Earth that seems to have moved north up the coast. Sacre bleu! I cannot believe Mother Nature would do such a terrible thing. Look, man. Looks like it started over there. In that hilly area we flew over south of the resort. Let's have a look. Everything we promised you will be done. 
done. That is, assuming those masked people don't interfere again. That's your problem, Sanchez. I delivered on my part. I'm not selling you protection. And I'm not paying for a job half done. Fair enough. The machine works and the rehydrator is finished and waiting at your place. If you want it, pay me now. You're in a big hurry to get out of here, Mayhem. Maybe you're more worried than you're letting on. Don't worry about man. Or he'll stick around and lend you his muscle. That is, if he can find it. You think you're tough enough to stop our house? Hot shot. You want to play? Fine. Do it later. I'm collecting what's due me first. Understand? All right. Come with me. T-Bob the Arms Hotel for safety. You'd think they were giving away money in there. Or vacation rebate. Right, Gloria, but not for long. Now it seems the desert is moving this way from the north. More hotels are closing, sand everywhere. In a few hours, I think this entire place may be a reptile haven. It's the snakes in venom I'm thinking of. Alex, there's something I want to look into. This is the diagram of the entire resort area right now. At the present rate, if the dryness continues, Acapulco will look like the Sahara Desert in less than three hours. Hold it, Alex. If these calculations are accurate, it doesn't look like the entire resort will be affected. I'd say you're right, Matt. It'll be short about 2,000 feet. Check to see what isn't going to be touched. It's the Acapulco Arms Hotel. Isn't the Arms Hotel where Matt hit Scott and T-Bob? Get a fix on the owner. He was with Van Am. According to my data, old chap, his name is Jose Sanchez. And I bet Jose plans to be the richest hotel owner in Acapulco once he buys up the rest of the worthless properties. I don't get it, Matt. How can he make money with a sand dune? If Miles can sell Sanchez a machine that can make a desert... Ah, then he can just as easily create another to change it back, n'est-ce pas? In any case, as long as Scott is at the Acapulco Arms, he could be in danger. Alex and Jacques, get rid of that machine. Gloria, let's get back to the Acapulco Arms. Yeah. <laughs> 
to do it. If we get that machine, Dad will be happy. Come on! Now! Oh, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> 